like other things, no, whatever. Once no, in a while, they take don't, showers. Don't sugarcoat it. They just well, don't take showers. Caleb does. Carson, you know. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. this GMC for sale and I stop. How much is it, I wonder? How much do you think? Now, first of all, let's get some stats here. Is it new? It's a 2018. All right, Caleb, come on down, please. I'm ready to get going, Trish. What is the plan? Where are we going today? We're going to go see the Pancake Rocks. Pancake Rocks. It, uh, it is 1152. Punakai Key. Punakai Key, Pancake Rocks. It's 1152. High tide is at 3 p.m. Seeing them at high tide, it, high tide is the best because the tide comes up and it makes this great blowhole. Can you have a seat, Caleb? Put your seatbelt on. We would like to go. Anyhow, so that's some of the stuff that's coming up. Let's head over to the Pancake Rocks. Exactly at high tide. Not exactly, but it is coming in. It's not receding. It's coming in, so it's very powerful. Well, and what's neat about that is we never know when it's going to blow, and when it hits just at the right. I mean, you see this big wave coming in, and you think, oh, it's going to blow, and then nothing happens. And then right when everyone starts to get bored, and they leave, bam! Yeah. That's when it hits. And they usually come in sets, like one, two, three, yeah. and it's just phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. she say? Uh, that was super cool. Yeah. So, oh, hi. <laughs> so, um, I just looked it up on Campable. Mm -hmm. You hold that. And we ran into the farm owner. This is the Clearwater Farm. Mm -hmm. But we just looked it up on Campable. Mm -hmm. You can see like where you are and where you want to go. And then this is a farm stay. And she said, just go down to the end and park and you're done. And I said, would yep. you like me to pay you through the app? And she said, well, you could just give me cash too. So we did. So we did. We're done. Here we go. That must be easy 
waiting for her. So just so you guys Let's know, the fences are electric. Yep. So don't touch the fence every single one. Well, who knows? And they said, um, don't pet the animals because the animals are very On 700 acres. Yeah, we are. <laughs> That's what this family owns here. It is a beef farm. And we are staying here for $30 mm -hmm. all by ourselves in the middle of yep. these amazing cows. Yeah, so we found this on the Campable app, and we just realized that there are dry camping opportunities on the Campable app. Yes. And if you do this list view, you can find like experiences. Mm -hmm. So you can find just regular places to stay, but then you can come across things like farms. Oh, look at this, cheese. And then it says like what it includes and things like that. Yeah, so look we didn't- Look at this, look, you can go to, the, it includes a cheese board. Oh. That's up the road a ways. We were done driving for the day. That's yeah, we one were. thing you need to know about New Zealand. You gotta be. Take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> you really gotta be on your top game. <laughs> uh, it's funny. <laughs> um, what were you gonna say? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, it's good. After two days, you're already making jokes, Trish. You know, I had to get to the other side first. <laughs> Found some garlic and herb and sea salt. Mm. I needed some kind of little multi-functional spice that I could put on everything. So why don't you share some classy living cooking tips? Well, you know what'd be good is to cook everything at one time, like your breakfast and your dinner, your lunch. Mm. So like if today when I made egg sandwiches for mm -hmm. breakfast, oh, if I so good. thanks, if I also made the tuna. Mm. So then after we went to the kiwi. But we kind of ran out of time, so then I left. But yeah. I had the tuna cans out, so I should have made it, put it in the fridge, and then all I would have had it done is put oh, it in. Oh, that's a great idea. So the fewer times you have to wash and clean up this space, the better off you are. So anyway, but all the fresh breads here, I mean, look at that. That's like freshly rolled. Mm. So anyway, I'm just going to warm these up in the oven okay. down below. And then um, I'm making burgers. I mean, that's... Well, great. and the beef here is so good, right? Yeah, it's super good. The boys have called a cow meeting, and all the cows are running to the boys. Look at these cows, look at They're all coming toward them. And now, Trish is going down there to go get the boys in trouble. Look at these cows run to the, to the calling of Carson and Caleb. Carson thinks he's the cow whisperer, and so he's... <laughs> He's got quite a calling. Look, I don't know if you can see, just in front of Trish, there's a big corral of cows. What amazing landscape. Well, we had a lot of fun just hanging out here with the cows last night, and I don't know, are these guys considered bulls? I yes. don't know what they're considered. Noisy. Noisy. <laughs> but it was kind of fun. It was really fun. And we got a ton to done this morning. We woke up super early. Yeah. It was great to be out here all by ourselves. Totally. And uh, we got a bull find... right there moving his. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's itching his back on the tree that he's already knocked down. Ready to go? Yes. All right. Very ready. Ah!
like uh, perfect over here. Kind of reminds me of Austin, you know, the little food trucks. Yeah. I bet this is going to be delish, and um, someone's in their wedding gown. <laughs> Sensational. Really? Sensational pizza. You know, from the cheese, the mozzarella cheese to the sauce, you know, what mozzarella pizzas normally miss is a good thick tomato sauce. Now, this has a lot of tomato sauce, which makes it perfect. Oh, what about the eyebrows? Did the eyebrows come out? There we go. That's what makes it a Carson's food review. Look up and do, give me the eyebrows and eat. Yes. Welcome to Wanaka. So pretty, such a great little lake town. It is, it reminds us of a lake town. Yeah, like It, it actually reminded or... me of a ski town and then Trish said they're skiing here. In the so winter. It didn't take us long to figure out that this is where people who live in New Zealand, Kiwis, come for the summer to vacation. A lot of people have like a second home here, has that kind of vibe. Well, people are like, hey, Everybody kind of like Everybody knows, knows each other yeah. when they're doing happy hour yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So um, anyway, but we did a little research and we found out about this awesome company that does crepes mm -hmm. and they had a rig so that got our attention. The yes. light bulbs went mm -hmm. off and then we found out there's like a story behind it. So yes. we thought, let's go together and find out the yeah, story. Yeah, so we sent them over an email and said, hey, can we bring your camera and come over and have some crepes and learn learn your secrets of crepe making? Yeah, I don't think he's going to share that. No, but... well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but... We'll see. I'll be very persuasive. <laughs> but he'll share his story and anyway, how he got here. Yeah, so Charlie Brown Crepes is in a small trailer just down the road. So we're going to ride our bikes down there and go meet him. And then we'll tell you what we have planned for Wanaka. Adrian. Adrian, nice to hey, meet hey, you. Hey, Martin's here. Yeah, good to meet you. Okay, so when I was researching all the different things to do here, yeah. I saw that this was your rig, and then I yeah. heard your background story, so share yeah. that. Yeah. Because that's super cool. So the caravan comes from France. Um, it's the first French guy that started a business uh, two years ago. Uh -huh. I took over after that, but the story is that the caravan has been uh, renovated in France. All the tools, the crepe makers, everything comes from France, including the staff. <laughs> so very legit. Very legit, yeah. It's authentic. <laughs> yeah. Authentic. So I know that crepes come from France, but maybe give me a little background on crepes in general. Uh, it comes from Brittany, actually. Oh. Uh, Brittany, which is the on, um, northwest of France. Okay. Um, and what's funny is that here, if you dig a hole from New Zealand, straight down, it's, it's Brittany. No. So it's, we are exactly at the opposite of the, the origin of crepes. The pole. Yeah, the pole. Yeah. You. Do I have to start with a savory or can I go right to sweet and then backtrack to savory? Did you not see the, 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 the crepe with the Nutella all over the inside? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'll get that shot I missed. That is gorgeous! This is amazing. Is it? And I'm super glad we started with savory and we're gonna move into... Oh, are we? Yes, creamy. I mean sweet. Yes. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to share the sweet. Because <laughs> these are so good. Every good movie has a sequel. So I think now is the time to go get a sweet. <laughs> to share, you mean. <laughs> Adrian said lemon curd, so I'm gonna go against what I would normally do, which is Nutella and strawberries. I'm gonna go lemon curd. Because you take the advice. Always. Always. Take the advice. <laughs> Thank you. What are you laughing at? Oh, I'm laughing at the boys playing and you're trying to document. And I'm I... trying to just get a good shot and they just won't put the thing where I want them you to put it. Loose. Right on this one. And go. Okay, Carson, are you gonna go there? Is anyone gonna go there? And now Kayla's blaming me for losing because I apparently cued Carson up to put it in a different spot. Welcome to the lavender farm. Yes. Yes, that's where we are and it is beautiful. Remember to take your allergy meds. Is it me or should we be getting stung like seriously everywhere? This is the, I guess this is the idea behind if you're busier than a bee, like 
you don't have time to be thinking about other things? Uh, let's hope, because I have never seen so many bees ever. Ever, and all different kinds. Like, look at that gigantic oh, yellow huge. one. Oh, he's huge. And then there's a regular one. And there's albino ones, and there's yellow ones. It's crazy. They're everywhere, and they're not interested in us. <laughs> okay, one zero, best out of three. I got. I must say, I'm digging the games. We've played Connect Four. We, I won. <laughs> we played Tic Tac Toe. I tie. And we played Bocce. Bocce Ball. I won. And I'll bet if we kept looking around, we'd find even more games. But they're all these huge games. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I like winning. You know what? I will say that I've never been to a garden that I haven't enjoyed. Bouchard Gardens is, of course, the motherland of all gardens in Victoria. And if you haven't seen that episode, we'll link right there. But Trish and I have also been to the Botanical Gardens in Scottsdale. That was fabulous. We went to a concert there. Trish and Caleb are in having ice cream and tea. So let's go see what they're up to. We tied at Tic-Tac-Toe. And you saw the tic-tac-toe? Wasn't that great? I love the tic-tac-toe. And then uh, Carson won at bocce ball, but well, I was killing him, and then we lost track of the balls were the same, and then I said, whomever wins this next round wins, and he won that next round. Well, good job. Okay, so I think I mentioned on the channel, or maybe I haven't, since we've been here in New Zealand, I have not seen a single full-size truck until right now. And I see this GMC for sale, and I stop. How much is it, I wonder? How much do you think? Now, first of all, let's get some stats here. Is it new? It's a 2018, and it has how many miles on it? It has 4,200 kilometers. That's Nothing. It? It's a 2018 with 4,200 kilometers, and it's only 180,000 New Zealand. <gasps> and now, I know why you don't see any full-size trucks in New Zealand. Wow. <laughs> I found a conversion table. Okay. How much is it? 180,000. New Zealand. 180. One, two, three. United States dollar. $123,000. So unless if, now the, it had a bed cover. Oh. So unless if that bed cover is hiding $50,000, <laughs> I'd say, I'd More say just go, just buy one in the States. Yes, but it's because Carson was like, well, I don't understand how much. It's because it's coming over in different, like over the ship, over yes. the this, the yeah. that, everyone's, and everybody says, everyone's taking on, putting on their here's fees. Here's my tax, here's my fee, here's my charge. So Carson goes, that's like showing up to school in a Lamborghini. <laughs> Full size truck. <laughs> Okay, we have been hustling around this morning because it is about 10 a.m. And yesterday, flying for Carson wasn't even an option because it was so windy. I mean, so windy. But we're just now headed down to Queenstown, and I thought I would put a call into, I think it's like New Zealand, Fly New Zealand, or something like this. It's a flight school. And so for $189, Carson can go up in a flight, and a passenger can come with him so I can record. And I called him, and I said, hey, what are the chances you have availability for this morning? And they said, if you can get down here by 10.45 a.m. So now we're hustling around, cleaning SD chips, charging batteries, getting the rig all set up so we can go get Carson some flight time, which is something we've really wanted to do here, because... Carson's pilot log. Yes. So that is why we are going today, because how cool would it be to say New Zealand in here? Yeah, for sure. That is like a really great memory for a young pilot, I think. Mark. My name is Ben. Yeah, nice to meet you. Carson. Good to meet you. But that's, yeah, that's quite a mile down here. Though. Yeah.
Yeah, you yeah, really greased it on the runway too. Good. Yeah, I'm proud mama. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and then the huge gust of wind came. It went from 4,000 to 3,900. Oh my gosh, yeah. It was, it was, I'm, I will say it was a little rough in the back seat at oh. times. Especially and, looking through our camera. Well, that's just it. Yeah. Yeah. That's no just, good. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, hey, you did a good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we're back in the, back in the rig. Oh boy. So we, um, so I get up there about 10 minutes into the flight and my Canon says SD card full, which doesn't surprise me. It's a 128 gig chip, but we are going through terabytes of footage in New Zealand and I need to empty that chip more frequently than I normally do. And then my GoPro Hero 7, which is clipped to the ceiling, I look down and it says SD card air, which is also not surprising for this Hero because I really struggle with the Heroes a lot, but the stabilization makes it worth it. But my trusty Session, which I'm talking to right now, of course has no issues, and so I pulled it off of the suction cup on the side, the footage that we got of Carson taking off, and then I started getting some footage with that. But I tell you what, I think the whole thing was a blessing because if I would have looked into that LCD screen on the Canon for just another second, I don't think things would have turned out so well for me. Mountain flying over the lake, 200 feet off of the mountain with turbulence, sitting in the back in an older 172, which didn't have a lot of air. At some point I was just like, look at the horizon, take deep breaths. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this whole thing is fantastic, and I think two things. First, when you can do your hobby, yes. or what he actually wants to do for yeah. a career, yeah. somewhere else, yeah. and you get experience that kind of mixes it up. So it amplifies hiking, experience, right? Biking, yeah. yes. Paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding. Yeah. I know Ken and Anita love paddle boarding, so they bring their paddle board everywhere across yeah. the world. Fun and green. then the other thing is. The fact that we were even able to do it is because we're in this rig. Because we yeah. would have flown into Queenstown. That's right. We would have done Queenstown. We would have flown to Auckland. We yeah. would have done Auckland. But in this rig, we're able to go into these different towns yes. and get a feel for them. Yeah. And then, like, thankfully we had weather that was open. Perhaps. I know. Yesterday was a total no-go. Today yeah. was wonderful. A little, little hot, but wonderful. Yeah. So, anyway, I just think that's the coolest thing. If you can take what you love and go do it when you're in different yeah. places yeah that memories are really great yeah all right oh, so i'm guessing that that's probably it for the wanaka episode so this is where we leave you and we will catch you next sunday in queenstown and i hope you're looking forward to it because there we have a lot planned in queenstown we're going out biking. with mountain biking we have a, a wine tour with altitude wines Yay. we're going to swing by the buzz and we're going to make some honey uh, yes and then there's some famous burger place that everybody has been Instagramming It's either at. the Fern Burger or the Ferg Burger, Something. and we'll figure it out. And they're like, you have to go here. Apparently wait for like an hour, so we have that going on. Yes. And so, uh, you know, lots more to come. So if uh, you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button, and otherwise we'll catch you next Sunday. Bye. This doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while, there is a dumping experience that makes you really want to take a shower when you're done. And I'm so grateful that it's only a couple times a year. But it does happen. Even to the best of us. I think I'm ready for surgery. You can stop now. <laughs>